What's going on YouTube? Clayky's all back again with another FFBE War of the Visions video and we just got a news alert in our notices talking about a new event we're getting on Wednesday, April 8th. I want to go over all of these units, what exactly you guys can look forward to with it, and I have a, little, a couple of tips from you guys asking for some things in comments about how to get Vizior and you should be doing PvP. Let's get into it. All right, guys, like I said, some for some reason, uh, Square Enix and Gumi have not decided to put little exclamation points over top of the notices tab right here. Uh, I accidentally clicked that, you know, to show us that there's new notices. So I'm in the middle of waiting on Westworld to come on. I don't know if you guys watch Westworld. And somebody messages me and it's like, hey, did you check out the new event? And I was like, what? And I had to get on there and look myself because I had no idea. I was farming and you know, there was no notification in game. So we are getting a new event. It's going to be like a story event. We're going to get a little bit of story with it. We're going to have some stages to do, some free Vizior to get, some EX stages, and then we're going to have like a couple of multiplayer ones. Uh, and we're going to be given uh, three new units with this event. It's going to be called the Admirable, Ad Admirable Prince. I can talk great. Um, this event's going to be great. It's, you're going to be able to get um, a ton of different materials. It's going to be similar to the way that the FF14 event is ran. So you're going to be able to go there. Hopefully we get some rainbow fragments because those are insanely uh, stopping us from being able, to, being able to do stuff. But you're also going to be able to get a free unit kind of like Ishtola and build her up. And that's going to be this uh, green, or excuse me, this uh, earth uh, monk. And I don't know her name in English. So it's like Etra or something like that. We'll have to wait and see what her English name is. But she's okay. She's not amazing. She's nothing too crazy. But getting her shards so frequently, getting the unit for free, gives us a chance of getting a TMR. So we get to limit break her. And I already have enough Ishtola shards to limit break her. So you're going to be able to do this with this unit as well and then you just have to get enough mats to awaken them and then you're going to be able to get their tmr um but speaking of free units we're going to have this kind of a uh reoccurring theme where they're going to do some free units uh and have us farm for them and gafgarian will be coming with final fantasy tactics and uh, he's extremely good so you're going to be like kind of focusing on him as well he's going to be a dark unit um but uh, yeah, so this week we're going to be getting uh, Yerma, which is, again, any of these names I use could be changed when it comes to global. I'm just using like their translated, uh, you know, <laughs> from Japanese to English names before they give us the official ones. And Yerma is the redheaded uh, Viking wind unit, and she's going to be great. She's going to be a bruiser type unit, uh, has Thief as a subclass, Viking as a main class, and Thief's going to be the one you're going to worry about the most, in my opinion, as her subclass. And she's going to be able to get a little bit of agility, a little bit of movement from thief right kind of like ninja and then she's gonna be able to lay down the axe i mean i'm talking big damage breaks uh some even some hp uh and attack up in her traits uh her passives i guess whichever way you want to say that and she also has like uh some cleave because that's what you do with an axe with some life still so she's actually really good we'll talk about her more later on uh and the only unit we haven't spoken of here is my what i just cannot believe this unit is an mr she's going to be an mr uh whereas uh yerma the green viking or the wind viking is going to be the ur unit the mr unit is going to be uh nasha i think is how they say her name in jp um that's again translated from what i've seen on the uh the websites I've looked at, but she is going to be a very good tank. She's going to have a white mage uh, subclass that you guys are going to want to use, or sub command, and so she's going to be able to tank and heal at the same time. She's kind of got that whole paladin thing down, looking really nice, and I really just wish she was a UR unit because she is the the art on her is great, and you guys know how much I love Charlotte from FFBE, and you know I love Saber, and it kind of just, now she has some pink hair, and I don't know what's going on in this game, guys. I'm normally not the chase after waifu type of guy but this game is changing me for the hopefully the better and not the worse with this stuff um but she's not going to be as good as Mont. so if you like Mont, Mont's an extremely powerful character you can get his shards for free you're going to get his tmr super quick as well i put super quick in quotations i guess because you do have to awaken him but you can lb him pretty quickly from buying his shards every time they show up in the shop and he's going to be a better tank than she is so really this banner while yurma is good and when i say yurma again i'm talking about the red-headed green viking when viking she's very very strong she's going to be strong in a lot of aspects of the game uh however with what's coming after this so let's talk about what happened in jp before we talk about this event all right we'll go over the event the next units to come out in jp it was christmas units so uh, i think yurma came out and on this banner by the way guys we should be getting ramu the Esper card and the Esper. So, you know, if you get the Esper, uh, the Vision card, excuse me, you get the Esper. So, we'll be getting Ramu. Very, very good on magic damage dealers. Uh, I think has a little bit more magic uh, 
offensive power than Shiva, uh, but Shiva has more uh, speed, so like agility. So you really have to pick between the two. You know, do I want more power? Do I want to go faster? You got to pick between the two of those. Uh, but then after that, with that banner, they had some Christmas units. So they had like Christmas Ramada. Uh, they had Christmas Moncherie. Those are units that came out like within a week. Uh, it might even have been on the Yerma banner. It might have been Yerma, Christmas Ramada, kind of like a, a pair. And then the week, uh, or I wouldn't even say it was more than a, a week at least, they had Christmas Moncherie. And then it was like three weeks to, to a month before Final Fantasy Tactics came out, okay? So I think we should be saving. Like, I know I'm going to go over this banner. If you want to pull for her, that's fine. But I think we all should be saving for Final Fantasy Tactics. And this includes the people who want Orlando, who have been saving for that limited time unit, people who may want Ramza. Uh, but most of all, a lot of us haven't been talking too much about it, but we need to start bringing it up more, is the uh, vision card that's limited to that event is absolutely amazing. We'll get into it when it comes out. But just be aware, even if you are skipping Orlando and those limited time units because you're just thinking to yourself, you know, I don't want to have to go nuts for the shards. You know, the limited time stuff seems kind of whaley. The vision card might be something you want to at least just get one of so you can have it in your arsenal. So be aware of that when you go to spend your Vizior this week or in the coming weeks. We do have some time to charge up, uh, but then we're going to want to spend all that better. Even I'm going to try to get that vision card. So talking about this event, like I said, lots of materials, but there's also going to be um, a uh, like equipment farming event where you guys are going to be able to get a good axe and a good fist weapon. Uh, and it's not going to be like that crappy one that we're farming now with the crappy rates. And I think a lot of JP players say that was like the worst equipment, um, you know, thing they've ever had. We're actually going to get one that is much better, apparently, much easier to grind. Uh, drop rates are better and just overall a better experience than what we had before. So I really look forward to that. And I can't wait to see what the rest of this week brings when it comes to War of the Visions. Now, the next part I wanted to talk about was you guys, normally you guys see my energy up here. Oh, Watch out, Frederica, calm down. Uh, and you wonder, like, how did I get my Frederica so high? How are my units so leveled up? So the first thing I need to establish here is, guys, I am a spender in the game. I always buy, every day, I buy the, um, the energy, excuse me, guys, the energy pack. And then I also buy the, uh, I buy enough to get the daily purchase bonus. So this week it was actually quite tough. It was 300 plus. So I was, you know, just picking what I thought was the better price. And that's also how I got a lot of her shards, right? I've got some shards from this. Um, I ended up doing four more pulls on the banner off stream, trying to get Shiva. Did not get her, but I did get a Frederica. So that was 40 more shards there. I am constantly farming her shards from the uh, story hard mode. Um, I went into the shop and I've purchased every... Um, available uh, shard that I could find, and this is something you guys need to learn, is shop refreshes for Vizior is actually super worth it. And this is going to be really important when you try to go for limited shards, because let's say I just didn't get enough Frederica shards, I could always farm them in the story mode, right? In the hard mode, but you can't do that for limited time units. So you're going to have to learn this. If you click that update button in the bottom right, if I click on that today, it says, hey, you can consume 100 Vizior and update the shop. And it starts talking about royal rank, and it depends on how high you guys are. Uh, but I at least always go to 100 Vizior every day, and I've been getting her shards that way. Uh, and you guys are going to have to do this every single day of a limited time unit. So like Thancred, you guys should be doing this to try to get, his, if you're down to spin and go nuts on him, which I don't, I don't recommend. I don't recommend it. But uh, as far as Orlando, yeah, as long as his shards aren't costing double, it's going to be a good move. So... You know, you're going to have to take advantage of these uh, refreshes. And I've been doing that. I've been getting a lot of Thancred because Thancred is still on banner. But the way it works, guys, if you didn't know, whatever units are on banner or are, like, featured, get a higher chance of showing up. That's why before we had Stern and Gilgamesh like crazy, now they're not featured. You get a lot of Shadow Links and Frederica, right? They show up a lot more now, right? And Thancred is too because he's considered fe uh, featured. So that is a way with any unit in the future to try to get a hold of their shards. You can see they had a new unit and vision card shop. I bought all of her shards there. If we head over to the Mog shop, I use all of my coins I got from Summoning to purchase her shards. So I ended up, uh, you know, whatever coins I ended up getting from Summoning spent straight into shards there. And that's how I've done it as far as her shards and L being her. Uh, a lot of people were also asking, how did you awaken her so quick? Well, I knew she was coming, right? So I looked at JP and I knew Frederica was coming out and I really wanted her because I did play the JP version. Uh, so I was farming lightning uh, dungeons way beforehand. I was doing lightning um, uh, multiplayer way before she came out. So I had all of that ready to go. But remember, again, I need to stress this enough that I also spend. And these story pack quests are absolutely insane. If you are going to spend money on the game, if we go through these, you can see that you get these materials you need to awaken, and then you also get these most coveted rainbow shards, which are absolutely insane, 
and you guys can get those from those too. So I, I know it's kind of an unfair advantage from being a pay, paid player, so I want to make sure that's established, but I also want to go down to all the revenues that every player can use to be able to get her where she is. As far as my experience, people keep asking me, hey, how do you get leveled up so fast? Are you, are you doing something special to get these enhanced cubes? No. When I had some enhanced cubes saved up from doing the daily, always do your dailies. So I did that three days, uh, three times every day. And I fed them all to her at the very beginning. So I got her from like zero to 50 real fast. Then I just farm a lot, guys. I take advantage of the game systems that are available to me in the, in the bit, little bit that I'm spending or the lot of bit, whatever you guys want to call it. And I take advantage of it. As you guys can see my energy up here, it's all the way full. Every day, I, full, I fill up by 28. Every day. 28 pots. I spend them. Guess what? They're all large pots because I'm spending in the game and buying the large pots. Yes, it's giving me an advantage. Yes, it is time consuming. It takes me. I'm still not done yet. In recording this video, the day's almost over. Uh, I'm, I still have all that energy I have to burn through, but I do do it every day. And she's in every one of my fights, so I'm getting tons of experience. So all you have to do is really buckle down and grind the game. Um, and it might take you a little bit, but there's no secret. There's no fast track. There's like, you know what I mean? Like you're going to have to put time into the game to get time out of it. Eventually we will, we will have an auto button, like an auto rebattler button. So you're, it's automatically going to keep going through the battles for you. This is getting a quality of life upgrade even more so in JP where you could be like, okay, I need to farm 20 of these. And you could type, you can like use the system apparently to say, I want 20 of these faint memory reds on this. I want to farm the stage until 20 of these things drop. That's going to be amazing for a lot of us out there. Because I know if you guys don't have the time like I do. This, like playing these games and making videos and Twitch streaming, this is my job. So I have to stress myself to the max, keep my eyes on the screen leveling up to make sure I can provide you guys with the information to learn the game and have a high account because that all works uh, towards, you know, gaining traction, gaining viewers. I need to charge my freaking iPad. <laughs> um, but that's that's how I do it, guys. That, that, that Those are my... Um, that's how I do it. I, and I don't want you guys thinking that, like, you know, everybody's going to be able to do what I do because, yeah, I do spend. But if you do spend, that's where I say spend. Spend on the uh, energy pots and take advantage. Spend all your energy you can in a day. And hopefully the auto battle when it comes out can help the people who can't just sit there and play all day. It'll eventually catch you up. So um, before we get out of here, there's another thing I want to touch on, and that's all the Vizior I've been getting. Where'd you get all your Vizior? I bought a lot of it, but a lot of it I also have obtained freely. And one of the biggest things I have learned through my poll that I put on YouTube, you guys are not doing arena. Stop that. Everyone, even if you only have one unit and it's my and he's level one, do the arena. They don't refill every day. I mean, they don't refill every hour. They refill to five a day. So you only have to do arena five times a day. You can refill them for Vizior or arena pots. You could choose to do that. Or you don't have to. I just want you guys doing five a day. Here's why. Look at the rewards. You get some daily rewards. That's fine. But I'm talking about the weekly rewards. And this is where you can get a lot of Vizior. If you're doing what you were talking about, not playing the game and not doing arena, because one, you don't want to lose. You don't think you're strong enough. Throw all that out the window. Get in there and do it. You're going to be higher than all these people. Guess what? Boop. Immediately, you get in top 10,000. You're doubling your Vizior gain weekly. So instead of getting 400 in a month, you know, you're getting 800 in a month. Easily. Just by doing your five a day. And you guys, if you guys don't know this, when you get into a match, because it's auto, you'll see this like little, I call it the hamburger menu button. Click that. Click skip. You can actually skip the fights. So it's literally click, choose an opponent, get into the fight, skip it. It will take you guys like five minutes to burn through these, maybe a little longer, depending on how much you load, to get through all these. The rewards and the benefits from it are outstanding. Don't be afraid. And then, as you start to level up, you start to feel a little bit better about yourself. Obviously, not even I can compete with these super high top, top tiers, even though I spend a lot. There are way bigger wells out there. I'm going to be happy being in the 800 range. That's what I'm aiming for. If I'm in this range, oh, that's amazing. But I'm going to be happy in this range. I think you guys can all get to this 500 range. That is 2,000 Vizior you guys could be getting. I just think you need to focus. Pick your opponents. Look for opponents you know you can beat. Make sure you fight those opponents. You can take some risks sometimes. I do that too. It's fun. But, you know, be on this. And also you get all these other great PvP rewards. And on top of all of that, if that wasn't enough to make you do your PvP, win or lose, I think you guys can win two out of three even if you blindly pick and just skip the fights as you level up. There are monthly missions directly tied to how many PvP matches you've done. Not how many you've won, just how many times you competed in the arena. You get a bunch of hammers, you get a bunch of seals, you get some resmithing weapons, or uh, resmithing uh, items uh, that you need to use for your weapons. And then you also get a rainbow, thought, rainbow fragment, rainbow fragment of thoughts. And these things right here are the biggest 
Oh my gosh, you won't believe it. If you guys see this in the shop for Gil, for event currency, anything, buy them all up. Because you guys will not understand. You need these. I'm already out. Like, I can't six-star any of my URs, even as a well, because I don't have any of these. This even stops the wells in their tracks. So do you want to get these? So if you could just do me a favor, I want you guys to make sure you guys are doing this. Just do 130 in a month. You have 26 days left. Make sure you're doing them every day. When, if, you lose every, if you lose every single match you play, if you lose every one, you still get all these rewards. And you don't want to miss out on them. Uh, people were asking about other things to get uh, Vizier on the game. Check out your training tab. Or any of these milestone tabs, to be honest. You can see all this. This is where you get your rank experience. You get some Vizior. You awaken a unit. You LB a unit. So as you start slowly start getting a hold of more units, you can just go through. And I, right now, I'd go through all of your units and LB the ones that you can. Don't spend too many of your yarn balls if you need them. But if you have a surplus, spend them. You get some Vizior there. Make sure you're doing your monthly Chocobo expeditions and your guild statues. These are all things that are going to help you guys slowly acquire enough Vizior to make sure you're having fun, playing the game optimally for you, and getting the most benefits that you can out of the game. I want you guys to be enjoying this game as much as I am because I'm loving it. I'm loving the grind. And, uh, you know, I just want you guys having fun as well. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below uh, if you think we're going to get a little Easter surprise. Uh, you know, that's something I didn't talk about. They got Christmas. Maybe we'll get Easter. Subscribe to me here on YouTube. Follow me on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash And I'll catch you guys in the next video.